Good day once again. This is me, Mom Cara K. Vitorino. One of the primary reasons people have trouble with problem solving is that there is no single procedure that works all the time. One of our main goals at, at the end of this video is for you to become problem solvers. Now, the question is, do you have any idea now what is our lesson for today? Our lesson for today is all about Polya Four Steps in Problem Solving. To begin this test, we now discuss a framework for thinking about problem solving. That is Polya's Four Steps approach to problem solving. So we have George Polya. So he was born on December 13, 1887 and died on September 7th of 1985. He was a Hungarian mathematician. In 1945, George Polya published the book How to Solve It, which quickly became his most prized publication. It sold over 1 million copies and has been translated into 17 languages. In this book, he identifies four basic principles of problem solving. That is why he was known as the father of modern problem solving. So the first step is understand the problem or see. Polya taught teachers to ask students questions such as, Do you understand all the words used in stating the problem? What are, you, what are you asked to find? Can you restate the problem in your own words? Can you think of a picture or diagram that might help you to understand the problem? Is there any enough information to enable you to find the solution? In short, rephrase the problem in your own words. In day, step one. So let us go to the... Step 2, that is devise a plan or you're going to translate. So you have guess and check. And then you see guess and check. So this is trial and error. So you're going to set up an equation, draw a diagram. So we will be setting up equations for each problem and translate. So step two, translate. Now in step three, carry out the plan. So this is the time that we are going to solve the problem. This is where you solve the equation you came up with in your device a plan step. Once you have an idea for a new approach, jot it down immediately. When you have time, try it out and see if it leads to a solution. So, if the plan does not seem to be working, then start over and try another approach. Often, the first approach does not work. So, don't worry about it. Just because an approach does not work, it does not mean you did it wrong. Knowing a way does not work is part of the process of elimination. So let's go to the step 4 which is look back or check. Did you answer the questions? Double check eh, any computations involved in finding your solution. In short, you need to verify. So kung mali ang imuhang pag-understand sa problem, ang imuhang pag-translate, so mali gid ang imuhang solution or you solve the problem. So we have an example one here. Twice the difference of a number and one is four more than the number. Find the number. So find the number now. Step one, understand the problem. Make sure that you read the questions carefully several times. So we have let x is a number. Numbers so say x, maintenance, and I will see variable x. So, step two, we have device a plan, or you're going to translate. So, we have 
2 times the quantity of x minus 1 is x plus 4. So step 3 is carry out the plan or solve. So we have the 2 quantity of x minus 1 is x plus 4. So using the distributive property, 2x minus 2 is x plus 4. So we have there 2x minus 2 minus x is x plus 4 minus x. So you might be wondering why naa c minus x there are both sides. So recall additive property of equality. So we have 2x minus x. So naa c x minus 2 is equal to so 4. So using again the additive property of equality. So um, negative 2 plus 2, 0 na natsya. So, 4 plus 2, and the answer is x. So, x is equal to 6. So, step 4, look back or check and verify. So, si x loko no is 6. So, ato dang i-check me kung sakto ba ang answer. So, we have 2 times the quantity of 6 minus 1 is 6 plus 4. So, 6 minus 1, we have 5. 2 times 5, then. So, equal sila. That means, check ang answer. Check si x is equal to 6. Okay, let's try another example. Example 2. A math class has 30 students. Approximately 70% passed their last math test. How many students passed the last math test? Okay, step one, understand the problem. Since we are looking for a for how many students passed the last math test, we will let x is number of students. So step two, devise a plan. A number that is 70% of 30. So translate, x is 0.7 times 30. Nating alam mo, nga 0.7 man siya ma'am? Sige daw, I divide 70 over 100 and the answer is 0.7. So step three, carry out the plan. X is 0.7 times 30, that is 21. So, let's go to the step 4, look back, check, and verify. 21 is 70% of 30. Nga man. Sige daw be. 21 over 30. 21 over 30, the answer is 0.7. So, 21 is correct. And the final answer is 21 students passed the last math test. Okay, that ends our lesson for today. If you have any queries, the comment section is available.